What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Tristan Ortiz. Hope you all are having a wonderful, fantastic day. Thank you guys so much for tuning back into the channel for a brand new Call of Duty Black Ops War video. In today's video, guys, what we're going to be talking about is the brand new supply drop system for Call of Duty Black Ops War. What my opinions are, what new items we are seeing as well, and some of the changes, obviously, that have been made due to the community's outcry and things like that. So before we get into the video, if you guys could please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel if you guys are brand new, that'd be incredibly freaking awesome. Thank you guys so much for all the support you guys have been showing on the channel as of very recently. Also, guys, if we can hit 15 likes on today's video, that'd be awesome. And, of course, if we get 15 likes, I'll do a double upload for you guys tomorrow and stuff like that. But, with that being said, guys, let's get in to today's video. So, as you guys know, as part of the new update for Call of Duty Black Ops 4 that happened last week, we ended up having new, you know, supply drop things added into the game. Obviously, we had the new operation added, but we ended up having what are known now as reserve crates and reserve cases. Basically, this is supply drops coming back, obviously, you know, at the hand of Activision and stuff like that. And at first, this really wasn't the best system that we could have out there, obviously. You know, this kind of got rid of having, you know, something to go for after Tier 100 when it comes to the operations. And of course, I want to say that gladly now, Treyarch has fixed that. We are finally able to get reserve cases and stuff like that after Tier 100. That includes the daily skips, you know, after your first win of the day. As well, guys, as we ended up finding out that the earn rate has been increased from, you know, just normal to double time through playing games and stuff like that. So that's really going to help out a lot. And also, if you guys haven't already gotten past Tier 100 before this update was made, I think a couple days ago, then you automatically are awarded retroactively the same number of crates as you are as your tier right now. Now, going over some of the new things that we ended up getting added, obviously we got a ton of new items, a ton of new stickers, war paints, a ton of crazy things. What I want to go over, guys, is obviously the new camos, the new weapons that we got, as well as some other things from there. Now, obviously we did get the new maps, Casino and Lockup, which I'm going to do gameplay footage on when I get the chance for you guys. But also, we ended up getting four special reactive camos we ended up getting the apb reactive camo which is for the maddox we got the party rock nostalgia camo for the sog we got the strip camo obviously to fit the you know feel of casino for the vapor xkg and then just in you know the black market we ended up getting the benjamin camo which you know two of these are kind of from past call of duties obviously the party rock and the benjamin camo coming from black ops 2 which I thought are pretty cool. We also ended up getting a regular camo inside of the tier 100s, which is Lady Luck, and that I think is normally for the ICR7. And then we also did get three weapons. We ended up getting basically, I believe we ended up getting the ZX7000, which is a Mastercraft version for the Augur. And then on top of that, guys, we also did get, of course, the Rampage, which is the fully auto shotgun. And we ended up getting the Switchblade X9, which, of course, I'm definitely looking forward to getting, you know, gameplay footage and stuff like that for you guys of those weapons because they seem absolutely amazing and stuff like that. Now, as far as things go, you know, we are just, it, it's a wonderful time for Call of Duty Black Ops 4, obviously, with all the new updates and things like that. So, hopefully... You know, with this new operation and going into the next ones and stuff like that, they're really adding more content, really making sure that things are going smooth and stuff like that. So, let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below, of course, what you guys think about supply drops coming back. I know some people weren't happy about it, but as far as things go, this is kind of what we're stuck with. But, of course, you know, we kind of got our way in the end. But, with that being said, my name is Tristan Mateus. Leave a like on the video, subscribe, shout again if you guys are brand new, and I'll see all of you guys in the next 